Hey guys, so um, this is going to be a short video. I'm going to do a quick garden tour um, and then next week, hopefully next week or the week after, I will have a video for you of our trip to Glacier. Um, it's going to be a lot of pictures mainly, but a little bit of video. I did do some video driving with the GoPro. GoPro. So um, let's see what I can get out of that. I haven't looked at that yet. So the neighbor's mowing his lawn. So it might be a little bit noisy, but I'm going to show you real quick the garden. And we're at the point in the summer where it's like, oh my gosh, this is out of control. Um, I go from um, it's never going to grow. We're not going to get anything to this is out of control. And I just have started getting tomatoes, um, bigger tomatoes. I've been getting the cherries for a little bit, but the bigger ones are just now starting to turn. Um, I've, I think I've pulled one Dan and then about six San Marzanos. So, and there might be more San Marzanos, but I need to tie up tomatoes um, and you'll see and I'm at the end of this video I'll do um, some video of me tying up tomatoes because um, it's gonna I have a lot to do a lot a lot to do so you can see and that's just minor those are just minor the San Marzano's are bad real bad so here we go okay so we're gonna start with bell peppers um, some have fallen over I had to harvest some. Um, I usually let them turn red before I harvest them, but look at all of those. Um, and we have had to um, stake them so that they're not falling over um, because a big part of this plant right here fell off. A big part of this plant right here on this end fell off. Um, and so we have staked them and tied them and I lost my, um, green tie tape and so I had to use red and so there's red in here and there's a little bit of red oh in the peppers too because I had to tie uh, the chili peppers so there's the bell peppers they are doing really well this year basil's still not doing well and this is my gathering apron and I will show you that um, at the end of the video too. I just left it out here because I needed to um, collect a little bit of vegetables later. So I just threw it there and I'll get it later. So tomatoes. Oh, I thought I stepped on the cat. Um, tomatoes are out of control. These are the um, cherries, the Brad's grape tomatoes, the sweeties, the sun gold and the just regular cherries except for those are good size um cherry tomatoes on that end and i call that one on the end the wild child that's the one i broke you can see here that i really need to tie them up because you can hardly get through there so tomatoes dill is finally doing well here except for i got tomatoes on top of it so i need to tie those up the marigolds are doing amazing We've got these little ones down here and then big ones that are, this one's about to open and I've got some buds over here. And I really should have given myself more space between the tomatoes and the marigolds, but um, you live and learn. So more tomatoes that need tied up. This inside here is doing a little bit better. And this is the same amount of space between this one as the other one, but you can't walk through the other one right now. And then San Marzano's, um, I did do a little bit of work on this a couple days ago. And so I just need to do the rest. Um, so weeds still need pulled and then onions are doing amazing. I've got a big dill in there and I just am going to leave it. So, um, but onions are doing great and I, I need to get in there and weed also, but a girl can only do so much when she's working eight hours a day. Sorry about the lawnmower. Um, blackberries still aren't doing great. And the, these ones over here, these are the ones that got sprayed and they're not, they're not doing great at all. But these gave me about five blackberries and that was it. 
peppers amazing 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 um i told lance that we had a red jalapeno in here and i couldn't find it i just found it it's right there and i'm gonna talk about that black guy right there um so let's go over here because i saw one right here so see how this one is starting to turn black um, they will turn black and then they will turn red and it is very normal very very normal for your jalapenos to turn black so you see that black one right there it's going to turn red just like this one and then we use these red ones to make hot sauce with and the cat is right there hi kitty so um don't ever worry if your jalapenos are turning black it is normal okay so this is dill um volunteer dill and i just let it go because i'm gonna need it later even though i have n i still have no cucumbers um so i i'm gonna have to buy some from the um the farm down the road so this is all peppers except the dill all peppers and then we get into the pumpkins and um the squash so let me step back and see if i can get you a good idea of this monstrosity um it is everywhere it's into you can see into the peppers um and it is everywhere and then this big guy down here is zucchini and he's doing great oh you can see a pumpkin down here let me get in there and show you there's a pumpkin um i think that one is going to be our carver and then i've got white ones and then i've got um honey boat squash and honey nut squash and that one is one but i don't know which one <laughs> so um but these have all and I can't even do justice to it because it is quite the monstrosity. Like, let me back up a little bit further. And, and that is the squash and it's starting to come out on this end too, zucchini. Um, so you can see that the zucchini is a bush. Um, and then this is trailing over here all of that is trailing so your winter squashes are going to trail like that and your summer squashes will be a bush like this guy um yellow squash so let's talk about him this is my second year i think of trying this um, variety of yellow squash and you can see the plant is not healthy i think i've shown you before um, but i am getting some yellow squash However, usually my yellow squash plant is as big as my zucchini. And there's the zucchini and there's the yellow squash. So we're not gonna do this variety again next year. This guy, this thing right here was a bear trap to catch um, roly polies. Cause that was, and I thought maybe it was what was causing issues with this squash. Um, I don't know, but this is dried up, so. And the cat thinks she needs attention. Um, again, here's the monstrosity of the squash. And I just, um, so yes. Okay, broccoli. We've got a nice head of broccoli. It showed up while I was gone on my trip. And so it's doing really well. Um, it's not quite ready to harvest. It actually has doubled in size since um, Sunday, I think. Then this is cauliflower and it's going to be a bit before I get any cauliflower, but it'll, it's developing down in this little pocket right here. So it'll be a while before I get that. Then over here is broccoli Romanesco and it develops like the cauliflower. So it de develops down in this part and this one. And then, um, cabbage. So that cabbage is ready to harvest. That one's just about. This one I did harvest. 
and we'll talk about that in a minute. And this one is ready to harvest. Oh, something's eating it. So, or it's split. I don't know. We're gonna harvest that. Um, but let's, I got me some new shoes when we were on our trip. Okay, so this guy, um, I have harvested that cabbage, so I left all the leaves there. And then you can see that there's little tiny heads developing. And so it will grow more cabbage if you leave um, the outer part. So, and I think this one, I've actually got two heads in. There's a bunch of bugs in there, but I think I've got two heads of cabbage in there. So, and then again, cauliflower, you can see, it's like doing a little bundle right there and it will develop a head of cauliflower in there. So, um, over here, I, I still have my little, tent up and I don't really need it but this and this guy are radishes the radishes did not do well this year that's a radish also um, not really sure what the deal is with that but um, we will figure it out over here is called a, a cucumber that's really doing nothing and over here is green beans. Um, they're finally starting to grow. And there's one down there too. Then we've got a parsnip, actually two parsnips here. And then the peas actually are coming back to life. So I've left them, but I did plan on planting some more peas. I don't know if I'll get anything in time. The strawberries are doing amazing. I picked strawberries and I've got weeds everywhere. Um, but when you work eight to 10 hours a day, you just um, can't do it all. So, oh, there's actually two right here that are ready. Let's see if I can get in here. Oh, goodness. So there's one that's ready. I'm gonna pick it. And then there's one over here ready. <laughs> the neighbor's dog is barking and the other neighbor is telling him to shut up. But I've got quite a few strawberries blooming. Um, and so I've picked probably 10 now. Um, um, there's one down here. Let's see here. This one. This one was, oh, it's almost ready. And this one's not at all ready. Um, but, do I have aphids? Is that what we got in here? See those little tiny bugs? I think I got aphids. So we need to look at that. Oh, sorry. Look at that. We need to do something about these. Okay. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what I do about aphids. I know that ladybugs will eat them. Oh, I see another strawberry over here. Let's see if we can get in there. Um, ladybugs will take care of aphids, but I'm not sure what else. So we gotta figure that out, but I got aphids in here. And where was that strawberry? Oh, right there. And so, okay, so they're good sized strawberries. Um, in the spring, they're little. In the later summer, they're big. So, got three there. I think I have four in the house. And I, I think I picked, ouch! Ooh, something just bit me. Ow! That gum. Okay, so here is the, um, okay, let me address something first. <laughs> when digging through the strawberries, I got bit or stung by something and now my left hand is aching or, you know, it, so I got bit or stung right be, right where that white stuff is between my finger and my thumb. I threw a, 
baking soda, soda um, paste on it. I can't even think anymore. But you kind of can see that red spot in the center of that. Um, and so it's aching. Actually, it's feeling a little bit better at this moment. Um, but so I dug through the strawberries with gloves, leather gloves on to see if I could find what it was. I did not. I think maybe it was a bee and it stung me, but it hurt. And I may leave a little bit of that clip in there because I throw my phone down and um, say my own kind of cuss words. <laughs> so, um, okay, back to eggplant. That one down there is doing amazing. These, eh, the leeks are still about the same size, I think. So they were an experiment this year. I've never done leeks. So then cucumbers are still doing pretty much nothing. That one's getting a little bit bigger, but there's still no, let's see if I can get in here and see it. Still no cucumber, oh, that's my hand. Cucumbers on those flowers. Those are just male flowers on the cucumbers. So, um, and the same with this one over here. There's no actual cucumbers. So I may have to buy cucumbers to pickle this year. So, and then here's baby cucumbers. And I think my um, traps, my beer traps have actually worked. So, and there's another cucumber doing nothing. So, and then um, I may try planting lettuce again tomorrow because it's supposed to cool down, start cooling down tomorrow. So that's what will go in this bed. This guy is a butternut squash. So because it's trailing, it's a winter squash. And I've got a couple in here. So, All right, there's one and there's one and they're doing really well. And then back over here, we've got um, an acorn squash and we actually have um, a Siamese acorn squash right there where it's two that have grown together. Um, and there's one underneath it. Let's see if we can get under there. One underneath there. Oh, and there's one right there too. So we've got several in there, which is good. So that is the garden. Um, I am going to attempt to tie up tomatoes with this hand. We'll see how it goes. I really need, I, they really, really need done. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so the other day on Instagram, I posted a picture and showed my fingers, and that's from tomatoes. And so sometimes it's hard to get off. So I wanna show you how I do it. So, water. You see, it comes off a little, but not great. So I take this, it's called the dish pot. It's from Norway, and I just grab it. 
Ooh, a lot is hot. There we go. Can you see that? My fingers are clean. And so after I get it scrubbed, okay, all the way around. That skin is a little bit swollen, but not bad. Yeah. 